everyone, I'm Elanja. It's been a while since we last time make a review of this smartphone and today, three days before Chinese New Year, we have finally get our hands on Uniphone Gemini. New double rear camera smartphone built on MTK 6737T quad-core processor. It has 32GB of internal storage memory with support of SD card up to 256GB and 3GB of random access memory. Uniform Gemini looks pretty nice and offers very decent build quality. It's very pleasant to the touch and feels durable and solid due to its metal back cover. The phone has literally perfect button placement, although you may confuse at the beginning power button which located on the left side below volume key with the camera button on the right side. Uniform done pretty good job in keeping both rear cameras inside the phone body and it doesn't stick out like from the most of the Chinese phones. I'm considering this as a very big plus. And speaking of cameras, Uniphone done quite a good job here as well. So I will remind you that double camera required for defining the distance between the primary object and its background to make more in-depth picture. So while 13 megapixel camera responsible for static images, secondary 5 megapixel subsidiary camera helping to capture depth information. Pictures and video quality are outstanding, especially considered that the phone costs around $139 without the discount. Camera offering amazing pictures with very good saturation and nice exposition, which is again a rare factor even for more expensive branded devices. Praise, however, only applicable for the pictures that made in good light conditions. Photos and videos made with mixed light, flashlight and especially incomplete darkness have quite a lot of noises and have a problem with focus. Frontal 5 megapixel camera interpolated to 8 megapixel is quite alright as well, and in terms of working in bad light condition, it seems working even better than its colleagues on the back. Gemini's 5.5 inch FHD LTPS display also deserves to be mentioned. It has some bezels on the sides, about 2mm, but it doesn't look ugly, especially on the black version of the phone. There is enough brightness to comfortably work even on the direct sunlight, perfect view angles, very nice color rendering and good responsiveness. It supports only 5 touches, but it's hard to imagine application that requires more. Uniphone showing decent gaming performance, Apex Citadel showing 22-24 FPS, in Modern Combat 5 I can feel sudden FPS drops in some moments, but in general it's very comfortable to play. And again there are not many games like Modern Combat 5 over there, so most of it will run perfectly. And finally Antutu showing the result around 40k, Gemini running on slightly altered Android 6.0. Among the alteration there is a new camera application that has additional setting for double camera, gesture mode, mirror vision and some main icons on the desktop. Fingerprint scanner is responsive and unlocks the phone very fast, almost as fast as Xiaomi 5 or OnePlus 3. The phone has 3250 mAh battery and under the load of Apex Citadel with 100% brightness and all modules turned off can hold the charge for about 3.5 hours. With normal use it can work without recharge around 18-20 hours. At the end of the day, Uniphone is really impressive phone for a price. I like this feel of metal back cover, I like how sturdy it is, how responsive the fingerprint scanner and how good is the camera pictures during the daytime. It looks just amazing and everything working just fine. There are of course some flaws that you may expect from the phone for this money, like bad picture quality with the poor light conditions or game performance on some demanding in terms of hardware games. But if you are searching for a reliable phone, for a low price, you may pay attention to Uniphone Gemini. And that is all for today. If you want to purchase the phone, just click over here or follow the link in the description below. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel and leave your comments in the comment section. I'm Elijah, thank you for watching and farewell.